Hello and welcome to Cloud Force Vibes. My name is Bobby and this is how I grow orchids and carnivorous plants. Hello and welcome to Cloud Force Vibes. So today's video, we're going to look at a few things, but mainly we're going to look at some progress on Dracula orchids and Mastavalia orchids. But I do have some new blooms and I will share those with you as well. So lots of progress. The seasons are rapidly, rapidly changing. It got up to 81 degrees in my grow room the other day. The tent stayed below 80 though. It was 79.8 in the tent when I got home from work. Lots of sunshine. Weather has been in the 70s and 60s and it's just been awesome. Really, really nice. So I think we're getting back down to the 50s next week. I'm gonna enjoy this while I can and the plants are definitely enjoying it while they can as well. So lots and lots of progress and lots of good things to talk about and good things to come. So here we go. Let's take a look around real quick at some blooms and then we'll take a look at these Draculas and Mastavalias. Our Speculinia Picta GG is just starting to fade. This is probably our last look at it for this season. So the blooms are just starting to close back up. But some of them are still open. Petite little cute things. They have actually lasted really nice for a Pleurothalid. They've been out about two weeks and that is awesome. Cool little pinkish blooms. The color has gotten better since they opened. They've actually deepened in color. And um, as you see, they are just starting to go out. So I figured we'd take one last look at them real quick before they are gone until next season. The plant is doing well. We've got new growth coming, and I am hopeful that this thing continues to do well in its new location. It really seems to like the brighter spot that I've given it. Something else that's on the way out that we should have a look at before it fades is this Ionopsis utricularioides. This plant has been absolutely incredible. I am so excited that this plant finally bloomed, or I finally got a plant that bloomed for me. <laughs> um, it was in spike when I got it, and luckily the spike hung in there and blessed us with all these awesome, awesome little flowers. This has been a really long-lasting orchid. It's been well over a month that this has been in bloom, and it is just great. Every time I open it up, this is the first thing you see just dangling in here. Nice little spray of white and purple blooms. Our Dendrobium Hemi Melanoglossum is almost in full bloom. If I go down this spike, you'll be able to see just how many flowers. Tons of blooms, and the last couple are still yet to come. So, awesome news is that we actually had a secondary spike start up here. So we're gonna have even more blooms for an even longer period off of this plant this year. Um, we've looked at them before, but they're awesome little yellow greenish blooms with this almost jet black lip, and they are very, very special, really cool. They have a nice scent, and the plant itself is up here and pretty much leafless at this point in time. No signs or activity at the base of any new growth yet. Oh, well, maybe, maybe maybe right there that might be the first sign of a new growth but otherwise I haven't seen diddly nothing at all the plant next to it is our Dendrobium unicum and these are coming along really quite nicely I am so excited to see this thing bloom this is going to be quite a little show and they're starting to get a little bit of color if I can get in here close we can see they're just, just, just starting to get a little bit of color to them, so not too much longer, but they're taking shape quite nicely, and I'm very, very excited. The Dyneema polybulbin is still blooming. That's the one we looked at in our last video that we wrangled and divided, and I noticed something next to it the other day that is extremely exciting. This right here is Bulbophyllum barbigerum. And I don't know if you can see that, but I think we're going to get a bloom. Big moment. Let's see if I can put this somewhere 
and we can take a better look at it. So this is my Bulba Fulham Barber's Urim. I got this from Andy's um, a year and a half or so ago. And last fall it grew this squatty little stunted growth. But somehow that squatty little stunted growth has produced what I believe to be the beginnings of a bloom spike. I'm very excited. This is a really, really thrilling orchid. I did not think it was going to do much. It actually was one of the plants that got attacked by the mouse. If you can see all that, for whatever reason, the mouse really enjoyed gnawing on some of my boulder films. So I have kind of struggled with this plant. I grew it very differently this winter. I gave it a very, very dry winter rest. Where this comes from in Africa, this plant dries out really, really well for part of the year and it's supposed to really help induce the bloom so I must say so far I agree I will keep you guys posted I hope it does not blast I hope it hangs in there but I have just now started to gently water this thing again as well as the Bulbophyllum maximum but so far no signs of anything on there either except for just the beginnings of some new growth unfortunately no blooms yet anyhow let me get this thing hung back up and we'll move on to the new blooms here we finally have our Tolumnia tetrapedula in bloom. This is an awesome little miniature. Blooms are tiny. I mean tiny. But they sure do pack a punch. Let me see if I can get in a little bit closer for you guys. So that is officially as close as I can get. Yellow and pink in the center. Nice tiger striping, bronzish brown and that white anchor shaped lip and petals just absolutely an awesome little plant here's a nice little side profile of it and these do last a decent amount of time it'll be in with us for at least a several weeks to a month and we have another bud down here yet to come so we're gonna have three blooms on this plant this year and that is very very exciting just love my Tolumnias. By far my happiest species. I did notice that one of my saddest species, where are you? Over here appears to have something going on. I don't know if you can see, but at the very center of the shot, there is a little spike looking thing coming up. And I am not sure if that's actually a bloom spike on my Calocala. And I'm not sure even if it is, if I'm gonna let it bloom because this plant has struggled, but it has started to produce some nice roots again. It has started to grow a bit again, and um, I'm excited that I might have some more luck with this plant than I originally thought. I got rid of all the moss. It had some snails actually on the uh, mount, and I dealt with those as well. And since that time, it has done really, really well. Alrighty, so without any more waiting, let's get out of here, and let's go talk about these Draculas. So this is my newest Dracula that I got Dracula Carteri from Andy's Orchids not very long ago and I don't know if you can see how many spikes this has but I will count them for you we've got one two three four five six seven and oh, I thought there was eight. Oh, I lied seven spikes awesome awesome news I will zoom in, maybe you can see a little bit better. Not having a good filming day guys, forgive me. But there is lots and lots of little spikes poking through that live moss on this mount in all directions. And I am absolutely thrilled to see this thing. I keep it hanging right down here next to my Dracula Chestertonii, which is doing well. I've put on a really nice new leaf over the winter time it's got another new growth started down here several new growths on this side that have pushed on and I have a lot of hope a lot of the old ugly nasty leaves have started to drop off which is okay the plant looks a lot nicer and the mount is doing really nice the live moss on here is my forest moss mixed with some of the sphagnum and as you can see it looks awesome this is the same stuff I have the Dracula low tax in in my tank and they really do seem to enjoy it um, over here this is my Dracula Gascaliana 
and it, I can happily say it has done really really well through the winter it really did appreciate the cooler temps and all the humidity and it not only has a spike but it has a bud just starting to form this plant I got from Andes about a year ago give or take and it was in spike when I got it the bud got here and it promptly blasted so I am excited but I'm nervous I want this thing to hang in there and I want this thing to keep pushing on. It's got tons of new growths coming. One, two, three, four, uh, at least four or five. And the start of a secondary spike down here from the base of one of these uh, mature growths. So first spike is here. The second spike is way, way behind. But with any luck, at least one of them will bloom for us in the near future. And we'll finally get to see this plant. This is going to be the largest Dracula bloom that we've had in our second Dracula bloom ever. Now our next Dracula used to live in the tent, but now it lives down here in the tank. As you can see, not the happiest plant. For whatever reason, my Dracula Baroii just started to go downhill really, really fast over the winter. I immediately snatched it out of the tent, and I put it over here in the tank, and I must say, I am very happy I did. If you look down here, I finally have some roots starting on this plant and a new growth. So, I think we might have actually saved it, but only time will tell. It lives down here now in the depths. I've also moved over my uh, Bulbophyllum tentaculiferum to live over here because it was miserable in the heat. And um, these guys are going to do hopefully just fine. I leave it gently moist all the time. The uh, moss is doing fantastic on there, but the plant is just starting to bounce back. Thankfully, I do not want to lose that. That was a gift from a very special person. So, anyhow, the uh, next Dracula is this. We have our Dracula low tax. I think this is by far the healthiest plant I have. <laughs> um, it loves, loves, loves the live moss on the mount. I keep it moist all the time. I mean, it even has aerial roots growing because I keep my humidity at about 90% in the air at all times. But this plant is just going nuts. Lots of new growths all over the place. And I am really excited to see what happens this next season for blooming because we had some good blooms off of this. This was my first Dracula to ever show us blooms and actually do anything. So I am very hopeful to see more from this plant. I need to deal with some of the moss. It's really starting to overcrowd and overgrow some of the growths. You can see down here, there's actually new growths <laughs> buried in this moss. So I want to make sure that they don't smother it too bad, but the moss and the plant seem to get along really well together. So those are all my Draculas. Let's take a quick look at a few Masdevallias and some progress there, and we'll wrap out this video. This is my Masdevallia winlandiana. And as you can see, it's a happy, healthy plant. It has done very, very well through the winter. No signs of spikes yet at all, which is a little disappointing considering this is one of my healthier masses. But um, maybe once the temps warm up just a bit, this thing will get going. It is one of the more warmed to intermediate growing Mastavalias, so perhaps that's the ticket. It's a bit dry right now. I think everything in my tank is, so once I'm done shooting this video, I'm gonna have to give it some water, but lots and lots of new growth and nice roots coming into this. And I'm very, very eager to see if it blooms this year. I hope it will. Our Masdevallia patriciana has opened up its second flower. So that's extremely exciting news. Two blooms on this lovely little miniature. And lots and lots of new growth coming on this plant and roots, which is very, very important. This was almost dead once. I cannot believe it's blooming this year. But I'm very, very happy it is. It lives right here above my... Mazzavillia exquisita, which is still in bloom. Our last two blooms are hanging in there quite nicely. The original two have fallen off, but I am very, very excited to say that this thing has lasted quite a while and is still just so beautiful. That's a nice little shot right there, isn't it? Patriciana behind the uh, exquisita. Really, really nice way to end this video. So, thank you guys as always for watching. I really appreciate it. I really hope you enjoyed my video today, and as always guys, please stay safe and happy growing.